Hey everybody, we have a Nexus 6P battery replacement today. Let's get started. Alright, first we're going to get our SIM ejector and pop out the SIM card tray. If you don't have a SIM card ejector, use a wife or girlfriend or boyfriend's uh, back of their earring or your own if you have an ear piercing. All right, I'm going to start off by heating up the um, bottom cover, screw cover down here. Uh, heat up the adhesive. Too much heat and it'll warp a little. You can see a little warp down in the corner, but that's just a casualty of phone repair. Uh, pop that guy off with the razor blade. To use the razor blade to get under there. Pull the adhesive off. And then we are going to do probably the most difficult part is taking this glass screw cover off without breaking the glass. So I like to go in, there are uh, little rubber slots around the corner of the housing and I use my X-Acto knife and it has a little bit of give there so there's room to get it under the glass without breaking it. The glass is slightly flexible not super super flexible but enough so that uh, it gives you a little space to work with so we got a little space in there and then i'm going to grab a playing card and work the rest of it off if you don't have a playing card grab a thin business card or something else along those lines that you have laying around the house Break the adhesive all the way through. Be careful not to bend it. It'll be more fragile up around the camera and the flash because it's thinner and there's less space to work with. Make sure you use plenty of heat. If the adhesive's not coming off easily, just go ahead and heat it back up. Unlike the bottom, uh, this is glass, so you are not going to uh, warp it at all. The bottom is uh, plastic material, so it, it warps pretty easily. All right, there we go. Popped her off. There should be four screws on the bottom and two on the top holding this thing together. So we'll go ahead and remove those. Keep track of them. They are uh, all the same size, so if you mix them up, no big deal. Just put them in where you can. All right, now we're gonna use the E-Tech flat tool to get into this thing. Um, I've watched some take apart videos online and they are using like a guitar pick and some other ridiculous stuff to get in here that will not work unless you have a, a pre disassembled phone or a heavily broken screen. Um, as you can see, I can only get the pry tool in where I've already pried it up. It's the only way it's going to fit. Um, really, we just need to get the, a little space on the top and a little on the side, maybe some on the bottom. It'll pop right off. I suggest going power button side. It seems to come off easier that way. And just like that, we are in. All right, from here, we are going to unscrew the screw that is holding the bracket down that is covering um, this FPC connector and the battery connector. I suggest uh, having a little bit of fingernails to work with. I have just trimmed mine this morning. Uh, worst day in a repairman's week is when he trims his fingernails. Uh, get those babies up. We'll disconnect this and get it out of the way. Make sure you disconnect the battery first, always. And then we're just going to pry this up. You may have to heat uh, the chassis a little bit. This one's gonna pop right out. Yeah. No worries, just like that. Uh, now we're going to take the battery. Go ahead and unwrap it if you haven't already. And line it up in here. We don't wanna put any stress on the cable. We wanna make sure it's uh, laying as natural as possible so go ahead and plug this guy back in and if uh, the battery doesn't quite 
plug in without stressing the cable a little. Uh, just reposition the battery into a better spot. Uh, just move it up a fraction of, a, of an inch and it's lined up well. There you go. Just push them on down like the Lego connectors. Then go ahead, once those are seated, and test your battery out. Make sure that it's putting juice into your phone. Sometimes you get a bad battery. Just make sure you don't put the whole thing back together before you find it out. Look at that powerful screen. Light up the whole computer. I realize now I should have sped this up, but uh, too late now. No turning back. Just watch her power on up. There she is. It's a Nexus phone. That means no bloatware, and this thing powers up uh, super fast. Uh, now let's plug it in. Make sure it's going to receive a charge. Looks good. All right. Now we can continue with reassembly. All right, let's go ahead and sleep this guy. So make sure we don't press stuff on accident. Now there's a little lip underneath the fingerprint sensor. Just go ahead and slide it under there. Should fit rather easily. And then screw your screw back in. That holds that bracket down. Good to go. Now let's put it back in the frame and the housing. It'll just click right in. Should fit nicely. work your way around don't miss a don't miss a spot all right that's that let's screw these screws back in again they're all the same size so it doesn't really matter which hole you put it back in I always like to keep mine in the right spots anyways just good practice going forward on phones that matter uh, where you put the screws all right, let's put the glass back on our adhesive was still attached well to the glass so we'll just reuse the adhesive and then we'll go ahead and tape the bottom back down we can't reuse the adhesive there so we'll just lay new adhesive clear 3m works best line it on up and then just click it into, into place it should fit perfectly around the edge And then pop that SIM card tray back in. Looks like we're good to go. Another successful repair by Sailor Mechanics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.